What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another day. We're in day two of Oklahoma bow season and it's still pretty warm outside. Uh, I think it's like, let's see what the temperature is. So it's 73 right now. It's 623 in the morning. I've been up since 515. I hate not living out here on our property because I have to get up super early just to drive out here. It was nice whenever I had to be up by 545 and I would be in my tree stand already. But I don't get that luxury anymore and now I have to drive. So here I am, day two. We're going to go after them, so stick around and let's head to the stand.
just got that. Oh my gosh. That was my white tin. The other bug that I was after was with him. I was hoping he would keep walking, but he turned. I was hoping he would keep walking this way, but he turned and started coming behind me. I hope I didn't hit him too far back. That's the biggest bow bug I've ever shot. I don't know if you can see my arrow. somewhere. That buck is dead. I just hope that he dies within a reasonable amount of distance. Oh, I didn't get any footage. I had the camera pointed in the direction, but I don't know if I got it. I really want to get down and take a look at my hair. Was quartered. He was kind of quartered away from me, and I hit him at this angle, but it hit him perfect. I know I didn't hit the heart, but I had to have hit the lungs. I never in my life thought I would have thought that I had two bucks that I want to kill, that I would have had to choose between the two. And had I looked further buck that was away, I might have held off. Man, I gotta, I gotta call my friend. I may need help. Dude, I just shot the biggest buck I've ever shot with my bow. Yeah, I swear. I shot that ten, that, that big ten point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I came I come in the back. Yeah. I would have never in my life ever have thought this either, but I had the choice between him and the big one that I told you I wanted. But he came in first, and I was afraid they'd bust me. I hope I can find him. He he was coming perfectly broadside to me. And then he turned and started coming like he was going to come behind me. And I went ahead. I wished I'd aimed a little further forward and just pile drive through the shoulder. But I, I know I hit him in the lungs. But it kind of it kind of angled back. So I don't know what all I got. I'm going to climb down. I'm going to look at my arrow. Hell. Yeah. If anything, I'll have to have your dad come help me look for him. Your dad can find him. Alright man, I'm going to turn my thermosil off and I'm climbing down. Alright, thanks. I'll send you some pictures. Oh, I'm not going to go look for him for a little bit. I just want to see what my arrow looks like. Oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just going to, I can see my green, my green uh, tip down there shining brightly waiting for me to come look at it. So. All right, later. All right, we're gonna get down, and we're gonna go look for uh, what kind of blood's on my arrow. I hope I didn't get the gut. I wish I'd actually got the shot on film a little bit. I don't know if I got the shot or not. I even went and reviewed the footage. Oh, it's shaking so bad. That's the biggest buck I've ever killed with my bow. I've been bow hunting for a long time. And these, but these bucks are so hard. They're so hard to trick. They get so much pressure around here. There's so many people that hunt that you're lucky to even get one as big as the one I just shot. And I just did it with my bow. Had that been a rifle, I might have this passed because I'm not real big. I mean, rifle hunting is awesome. Don't get me wrong. But to kill one with a bow is amazing. So I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna hop down. I'm gonna leave the camera running and I'm gonna go look at my arrow.
film some on my phone and film some from up here. Down here at the arrow, the arrow looks good. The blood, I mean, there's, I don't know which way he, uh, I don't know if he ran at it through there. He went back up through here. I don't, it all happened so fast, I don't remember where he went. I'm not seeing a lot of blood, like a trail, so. That's normal sometimes, sometimes they, don't open up for a little ways after they run a ways off, but look at this arrow. And it sprayed the ground. We found him. Oh God, I thought that I hit him a little far back and I got gut and I found poop. But look what's over here. Boom. Thank you. Jesus. This self-filming so hard. I'll just tell you right now, but let's go take a look at this deer. Oh my God. Dude, I'm so pumped with this deer. I've been watching him all summer on trail camera. He couldn't have came in any better. I don't know which direction he ran or, or what, but big buck down, baby. Big buck down. This is my largest buck with my bow. Tickled to death. I hit him kind of high and it came out kind of far back, but it did the number on him. It's so hot, but now the real work begins. I'm sweating my butt off just walking back to the car. Tomorrow is supposed to be a high of 68. Jeez, it's a hot one. Let's go get this deer. Well, we just got to the meat processing plant. You see this old truck? This right here was my great uncle LD's. My papa will give it to me um, here recently. My great uncle passed away and he had bought it from him. It has a camper shell on it. Uh, the house I need to put back on there I'm trying to fix that truck up. keep it in the family it's almost 30 years old and uh, had some issues we had to get fixed on it but it means a lot to get the haul my biggest bug ever and my great uncle LD's picking up truck so let's go in here and check this sucker in well we didn't video a whole lot of that there wasn't no Amish people here other than the woman up front and I had to gut the deer, and my intentions were to not have to gut the deer, because I just killed it. It hadn't even been, but not even an hour and a half yet, two hours maybe. I usually let Johnny, the guy that I donated, the, I donated this deer to, because I kill him one every year. I usually take mine later in the year when I'm completely out of deer meat, but I gutted it for you, Johnny, so you're welcome. But anyways, we're off. So thanks for coming along for my largest bow kill ever. It's not my first bow kill, but it's my largest bow kill and it was exciting 
I hope I got it on film. We're getting ready to go home and find out. I gotta go home and wash my camo because I got blood all over me. And uh, yeah, don't forget, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, which is gonna be tomorrow, I'm gonna kill another giant. Probably not, but I'm gonna try. See y'all next video.